Jesus says, what is the sign of being his disciple? In the book of John, chapter 13, verse 34 and 35. Verse 35 says like this, By this shall all men know that all of you are my disciples, if all of you have love for one another. You see, if we carry love for each other, God says that that is a sign of being Jesus' disciple. Or that is a sign of being a Christian. Having a love for one another. And in the book, and in the same chapter, one verse before that, in verse 34, I read 35 before, now I am going to read 34. In that, how he says, look at this. All of you love one another as I have loved you. You see, Jesus gives an example there, saying that he was becoming that the model, the role model for how to love others. How Jesus loved us. How he loved us. He gave his very life on the cross of Calvary. He died for us. He bled and died for us. That is how Jesus loved you and I. That is how Jesus is loving us. He gave his very life. And now Jesus is telling his disciples. To whom? To you and I. To the so-called Christians. If we claim, if we say that I'm a Christian, you are a Christian, then Jesus says you should love each other like the way he loved us. My brother, my sister, my friend, wake up. Are we doing that? Are we doing that? Wake up. Wake up. We need to put love in action. Not just in our words, but it should be in our deeds. And in the book of Luke, chapter 9, verse 23, Jesus says like this, Jesus said to them all, if any man, he is just saying something publicly, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. You see, to follow Jesus, we need to do all these things and it is not a must. See, following Christ cannot be forced on anyone. Always remember that. It should be spontaneous. It should be voluntarily received. That's what he says. Jesus said to them all, to, to the crowd, to his disciples and all those people who were around him. He was telling like this. He said to them all, if any man. It's a choice. It's an open call. He says, if any man will come after me. If any man want to follow me, let him deny himself. The first thing is self-denial. The first thing is you must choose not to be selfish. You got it? You should become selfless. He said, that you, let him deny himself and take up his cross. What is taking up his cross? Nothing but willingly giving us for sufferings. Willing to suffer with a smiling face. And he continues daily. And he says, follow me. You see, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and let him take up his cross daily and follow me. When you do these things, when you deny yourself, when you take up your cross daily and when you follow Jesus, then you become a disciple of Jesus according to the standards of God, according to the standards of Bible. 
my brother, my sister, my friend, wake up. First of all, we should carry love. We should love each other like the way Jesus loved us. Remember, Jesus gave his very life for us. We should love each other fervently like that. So that we too can be his disciples. Being a disciple of Jesus should be coming out of love. You got it? Love is the basis. Love is the foundation. And in the book of Colossians, Chapter 3, verse 13, God says like this, Forbearing one another and forgiving one another, if any man have quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do all of you. You see, first he spoke about love. Now he says that we should forgive everyone the way Christ forgave us. My friend, Jesus is forgiving us from the day we met him. From the day we received him, he keeps on forgiving us on a daily basis, on a momentary basis. The same way we should forgive others as well. My brother, my sister, my friend, we can say that we are Christians. We can say that I am a follower of Christ. I am a disciple of Christ. The question is this. Will Jesus say that you are his disciple? Will Jesus say that I am his disciple? Ask about that. Think about that. He should not be saying that I never knew you. My brother, my sister, my friend, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. We need to. We are supposed to love everyone. We are supposed to forgive everyone. That makes us a disciple of Jesus. That makes us a Christian. My brother, my sister, my friend, Christianity is not a religion. It is a, it is a relationship with God. And it is a life of action. It's a lifestyle. We need to live in our deeds, not just in our words. That is Christianity. That is being a disciple of Jesus. My brother, my sister, my friend, wake up. You need to deny yourself. You need to take up your cross on a daily basis. And you need to follow Jesus, not your pastor, not your elders, not your bishop, not your prophet, not your teacher, not your evangelist, not your apostle, but to follow Jesus. My brother, my sister, my friend, what is following Jesus? Following the Bible. John 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God, and the word became flesh. Jesus, in word form, is nothing but the Bible. My brother, my sister, my friend, wake up. You need to love others. You need to forgive others. Then that, that's what makes you a disciple of Jesus. That's what makes you a true Christian. My brother, my sister, my friend, God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. Until we meet again, may God continue to be with you as well. Amen. Hallelujah.